this is it. Our last outing in Antarctica, and after this, after dinner tonight, we are setting off to the Drake Passage, which is actually right around this island to the left here. This little opening is a disaster, but let's watch and I'll point out the errors. It is our last day in the deep Antarctic. Deep Antarctic? Not quite sure that's accurate. And then we head up the Drake Passage. We'll see what happens there. But first, let's see what else Antarctica has to offer us. I mean, we've already had some amazing days. If you've missed those, I'll link them here. Nope, not there. They'll be on the other side. I'm dumb. Probably the best day ever, right there. Still not there. And yeah, let's see what we find today before um, potential seasickness. Our last morning in Antarctica started with a lovely hike at King George Island, where I got to spend more time with my spirit animal, penguins. <laughs> They are forever curious. <laughs> but super awkward on land. Remember that I learned a bunch of photography stuff? Yeah, I also spent the last morning trying to apply them, except it went a little bit like this. And here we have a frustrated new photographer trying out a new technique. Now it's important, whilst the photographer's trying a new technique, not to get too close, because they've been known to lash out. The new technique, it's just skills I never learned. Skills you can't teach yourself. Pretty hard to get a bad picture here though. Somehow, I'm making it happen. <laughs> we spent the last hours of the afternoon watching rowdy fur seals and even got a special little send off from a Gentoo penguin. There he is. He's still following us. That's it. We just had to say goodbye to our gear, our waterproof gear. It's kind of heartbreaking. I don't want to go. I'm not ready to leave yet. This place is magical, but I guess all good things must come to an end, right? So we now have about an hour until dinner. So what we are supposed to do in that time is kind of prepare ourselves for the Drake Passage, meaning all of this stuff right here needs to go um, and kind of be put away. So yeah, it's a big mess anyway. Should probably, should probably clean that up before. But yeah, so we just have to make sure, you know, nothing valuable can fall or whatnot. Um, so it's not supposed to be that bad um, for the first half and maybe a little rougher for the second half of our crossing, which is gonna take two nights and one day. So we're leaving right around dinner time tonight. Um, some people have already started taking some medication for it. And I know Ross did, but- like me. It kind of knocked him out because Super sleepy. that's the thing that happens with Dramamine is it makes you really sleepy, which is why I didn't want to take it before our last excursion. So yeah, but we're gonna have to Drake proof the room now and then yeah. Next Think time you see us, we'll know if it's the lake or the shake. <laughs> yeah. We have started moving. Um, you can't really see it. Hold on. So we are on our way. I've just taken a tablet and it's dinner time. So I will catch up with you guys after that. Correction, I won't because the tablet knocked me out. So fast forward to the next morning. Good morning and welcome to the infamous Drake Lake. <laughs> the are beautiful. Once more, we 
gotten very lucky. Other than a little bit of a roll, there isn't really much happening. So I have to say I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I kind of wanted to earn this, you know? And we've just gotten spoiled. Definitely not the uh, epic adventurous journey I was hoping for, I guess. Ross is relieved though. I'm all right with it. <laughs> And that marked the end of our journey to one of the most remote places on Earth. Even though the adventurer in me was disappointed by the ease of our crossing, I will always look back on these last moments fondly. But now, it was time for more adventures in South America. So until then, be good to one another, be good to our planet, and keep adventuring. <laughs>